Pleased to be joined by Jake Lacina, former member of the Augustana football team, eagerly awaiting the NFL draft. Uh, first of all, when the season ended for you guys, your last college football season, how soon after that did you start preparing for the NFL? Um, I was actually told to, you know, take a few weeks off, you know, just recover and rest up. And then, you know, after a few weeks, I'd say maybe two or three weeks, I really started to get back into it and start preparing for pro day stuff. What specific type of training did you do after that rest period? So after that, we started doing all the, you know, the pro day, the 40 yard, the bench press. We did all training just for that stuff. You know, I wasn't really a big fan of it because it wasn't really football related. It was more just pro day stuff. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It ended up being canceled. But, you know, it was training. It was training for something. So, yeah. So so were you scheduled to do a a certain pro day? Yeah, that that was supposed to be at the University of Minnesota. But, you know, everything got canceled. So. Right, right. And obviously that's presented challenges for for everyone, but for, you know, a small school guy like you, when that got canceled, what have you been doing? Did you put like a a highlight tape together or a or a tape of your drills? What have you been doing to try and get NFL teams to notice you? Yeah, that definitely hurts the small school guys, but uh the people I trained with, we uh put together a video that we sent out to, you know, all the teams that we had contact information with. We just put together a little pro day video with all the times, but it's tough because, you know, they're not officially timed by scouts or anything like that. So I don't know how legitimate teams might take it. But, you know, you're still sending videos out to see to be on their radar still, you know. Sure, sure. So obviously you signed with an agent and you're working hand in hand to try and get NFL teams to notice you. Have you had any interviews with any specific teams yet? Yep, I've had uh, a FaceTime interview with, you know, the Vikings. So that's cool, you know, Minnesota, and just, you know, just basic simple contact with other teams, just, you know, checking in, getting information from you and stuff like that. Sure. Obviously, the Vikings connection with your dad having played for them, regardless of who he played for, does the name Lucina, do do people recognize or remember your dad, and has that helped you at all in terms of getting to know these teams? I would say definitely people recognize it for sure. I don't know if I could say that it helps or doesn't help. I mean, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I would say that the recognition is definitely still there around the community. And another name that might help, C.J. Ham, obviously coming from Augustana doing what he's doing. Has his name helped at all? Obviously, you talk with the Vikings, but I'm sure other people know C.J. Ham and that you're coming from the same place that C.J. came from. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, CJ, you know, he's been a – he's welcomed me in when I first got went to Augie. You know, he's very helpful to me and very nice to me and welcomed me in. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you know, Augustana's, you know, getting on the map now, especially with CJ and just, you know, that name recognition. I, I mean, I'm sure it helps for sure, 100%. Have you been asked to see if you're adaptable to playing guard or tackle or are you being asked to be a center? Um, I, I haven't really been asked about center guard, but I think that just kind of comes with playing center and playing in the NFL these days is being able to play both ways. I mean, I, I tell, I put people, I put center guard on all my videos I sent out and stuff, but I mean, I'm sure it's, it's hand in hand. If you're going to play in the NFL, you got to know more than one position, especially these days. How are you trying to sell yourself? Like, what are you telling teams saying, this is why you should take a chance on me? I'm just saying, you know, just g- give me a chance. Like, let me play football in front of you. You know, people may not, you know, like my my speed or my size or whatever. Just just let me play football. In front. Get me into a camp so I can get the playbook down and, and just play football with, with the best of the best. So that would be my sell- that's my selling point. What are the final preparations that you're going through right now? So right now I'm just doing uh, – I've just been lifting uh, – doing basic things, stay in shape, you know, hill sprints and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm just trying to stay in shape till I get on, on a team again. You know, I want to be on a team right now, so I'm just trying to keep in shape and just see what happens. So, Very cool. Best of luck to you, Jake. Really appreciate you taking the time yeah. today. Stay safe. Hopefully we can talk again soon when you're uh, with an NFL team. Yeah, I would love that. Thank you.